Enforcement Directorate his, has reportedly sought a 14-day custody of the mining scam kingpin Anil Bastavde. Vivek Narayan tracking the story all the way from Jakarta, Hong Kong and now in India joining me live from Ranchi. Vivek, uh, we do believe that the court order is expected any time soon. The 14-day custody, the point is what is the kingpin likely to reveal? Who is he likely to name? Well, uh, the key link here in this camp, Anil Bastavde, <clears throat> his, uh, uh, his case was up here at the Ranchi court. Uh, uh, interestingly, the Enforcement Directorate uh, has moved for, uh, for, for custody, his custody right now. And, uh, um, and when the Enforcement Directorate uh, lawyer, uh, SR Das, got up and sought his custody, the lawyer who's representing Anil Bastavde, uh, uh, advocate Anshuman Sinha, he has not opposed the move. Uh, so essentially, ED is taking 14 days of uh, ED custody. Anshuman Sinha, Bastavde's lawyer, is taking this, saying that they are not opposed to it in principle. But their primary contention is that uh, their client is, uh, is an innocent man. He is an honest businessman. He is ready to cooperate with ED. And that is why he is not opposing uh, the custody, ED custody. The big question is what will a judge, of course, in about half hour we'll know what the judge says. Uh, uh, but if he's remanded to ED custody, will he be cooperating with the ED officials? Will he tell them to what extent his involvement was? Uh, the, the contention of uh, the um, Bastavde's lawyer was very interesting. He said uh, um, CBI has to first charge sheet. CBI or the enforcement directorate will have to come with a solid charge sheet against Bastavde, which they, he claims that they will not because he, as he claims, is an honest businessman. And unless it is proven that money has been laundered and uh, uh, this man is in possession of money which has been illegally obtained, the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, which is a relatively new act, cannot be put against him. So uh, there are legal loopholes with uh, Basavde's team is trying to look at. But as of now, it seems uh, that uh, uh, Basavde will end up in ED custody. Uh, in about half hour, we will know uh, what the judge finally says. But as I said, uh, after uh, Enforcement Directorate moved for custody, Basavde's lawyer is not opposing his 14 days uh, uh, enforcement directorate custody. Rupali? Right, uh, Vivek, you were saying that there could be certain legal loopholes that the kingpin might uh, try to utilize at this point of time. This also comes to the question of the delay really in uh, deporting him to India, the delay between uh, the ED officials as well as certain embassy officials involved. Well, there are several uh, several loopholes, of course. Here, one, of course, as you said, is is the fact that this man who was wanted here in India was given a passport despite uh, despite an arrest warning warrant pending against him. How did that happen? These are issues which uh, authorities will have to look at. How come the right hand didn't know what the left hand is doing? How come there was an arrest warrant pending against him in a high-profile case? And how come the officials who are issuing passport to him uh, gave it to him uh, in Jakarta? Secondly, the problem here is that, uh, as I said, prevention of money laundering. Act is a relatively new law, uh, and his lawyers are saying that he cannot be tried under provisions of this law because enforcement directorate does not have the kind of paraphernalia to investigate and come up with a charge sheet. So that 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 is what there. He's his lawyer, um, uh, Anshuman Sinha, has also quoted other cases. He's quoted the 2G scam. He's quoted the CWG scam. He's quoted the Satyam scam. He's saying that in all these cases, uh, the Prevention of Money Laundering Act uh, has not been uh, put against those who have been accused uh, and in this case it should not be put against Anil Adinath Bastavde also.